Hey guys, my hair, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of 101's first full length album, One to the Power of Eleven Equals One Power of Destiny. This is their first full length album, which I already told you, but for some reason I felt the need to say it again because I'm so excited that they have a full length album. 101 are not going to be a group in 2019, they are disbanding at the end of 2018. I'm really happy that we got a full length album from them before that happened. I have the romance and the adventure version. Right here and I feel like every time I do a one-on-one -on -one unboxing they end up being way too long and way too chatty so let's just get into it without having a 300 year intro we're gonna start with the adventure version I feel like I'm gonna like the romance concept more I don't know I feel like I'm gonna like them both but so this is the track list. I currently have not heard any other song except the title track but I absolutely adore the title track um, and yeah, I haven't gotten anything out yet because everything is in this little pocket over here. Yes, I feel like we don't need to remove things, but I probably will still show you in like after I go through the photo book. I will show you everything that is in that little flap there. So yes, that's the CD. And here is the photo book. If this is your first time watching a 101 unboxing from me, my bias is Jaehwan, who is the main vocalist. I love him a lot. And I'm really interested to see what he does when 101 is spits. I'm really interested to see what everyone does, honestly. But Daewi, oh my, <gasps> holy cow. Also, everyone looks so freaking good this comeback. Look at freaking Daehui, oh my god, 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 a skinny legend, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing, we have Woojin, who looks so freaking good as well, he looks really good blonde, just saying, oh my gosh, we have Jihoon, who looks really good, I'm like, never really found him very attractive and like i don't know a lot of people were like oh my gosh he's so good looking and i was, was kind of like mm, okay but um he looks really really good this concept so i'm sorry people who think he's attractive forever doubting you <laughs> because um he looks really good here and we have those three members dehui jihoon and Ujin. little subunit and we have Jisung, who is my second bias, and he, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I don't know why he's in like a little RV, but uh, he's killing it. Look at, why does he look so good? We have Sungwon, who's also a very nice blonde. I really like him as a blonde. I feel like 101's promotions were super quick. And it makes me really sad because I also feel like they did so much this year. They had a world tour. They released like five different albums. We have Minhyun. We have like subunits. We have a full length album from them. Um, they didn't do any like Japanese promotions, but I believe their tour consisted of shows in Japan. They just variety and CFs. And I feel like they became really... There's Jaehwan, he looks so good with red hair. I be, feel like they became a really, like, like a staple of K-pop. Like, be, they became, like, like, EXO or BTS. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they became, like, a group that kind of defines K-pop. So I'm really gonna miss them. I'm also really happy that my top two favorite members are um, in the same group. Also, Minhyun. Love Minhyun. New East W are making a comeback soon too. Bought that album. I'm really excited about that. Ong looks so freaking good. I love Ong. Is he still under Fantagio? I haven't been following that very closely. Um, but if he is, I hope he gets out <laughs> because I really don't want him to be there because they have been real iffy this year. Daniel. Gorgeous, gorgeous human being love him so much a lot of people want him to go solo i would love to see daniel in a group i feel like he's one of those boys who would do so well in a group but i don't know if he's i mean he has the talent to be solo but i just i don't know i want him to keep being in a group i feel like he really flourishes in a group if that makes sense 
Then we have Jin Yang. I also feel like this is very different from um, like the beginning of 101, you know what I mean? And then we have Quan Lin. Um, I feel like I noticed this with um, Eyes One's album is that they're very like, this is the number one person, this is the number two person, like from Produce 48. Whereas I feel like 101 have become a group that it's like, yeah, our, num our ranking wasn't really that important. Like Daniel's ranking is still pretty important, but I don't feel like anyone else's ranking really matters anymore. Um, I feel like their company doesn't really care about rankings, fans don't really care about rankings anymore, so that's nice as well, it makes them feel more like a, like a normal group, not like, these are all things twos, um, not like a group that was temporary. Jin Young had a lot to say, so yes, I really liked that quote set, <laughs> I thought that I was gonna like the other one more, but now I'm not too sure. So this is pretty similar to their first album in the sense that you get a photo, no group photo card, um, which is weird for 101, but I think there's stickers in here and then you also get one of those like slip sleeve things. So let's see who I got for that. <laughs> so I got Sungwoon, which is okay, but I will be trading him for Jaehwan. So if you would like to trade, please let me know. This is what it looks like, and you basically just take this piece off, wrap it around the front. It's the same as their first one. This literally looks exactly the same. I thought that they had given up on those, but I guess not. And then we have some lyrics, maybe? Yes, lyrics. I have to leave for work in like 10 minutes. I decided to film my Secret Santa today too, but I was like, I had to film my one-on-one -on -one unboxing before I leave too, because I got these albums yesterday, and I, didn't get a chance to film yesterday. Cause I, if you get home after like four o'clock now, it's um dark. It's currently four o'clock now and I feel like I'm rushing against the sun. I have to be back at work at 4.30, but I think I can take another like 10 minutes before I leave. And the photo card I got was Beijing Jin Young. This is like a, a film card, I think they called it. So, it has it like transparent like you can see my hand through it so yeah so he would also be up for trade for jaehwan do let me know if you're interested um also in there you get these adventure stickers i believe there's a couple different ones that you can get all this information will be in the description box and of course we get a golden ticket which is um blue now time for the romance version so the front the back it's mine we open it up and we have a blue CD. So freaking pretty. So we'll go ahead and do the photo book. We'll see if it's the same order. It doesn't look like it. We have Daniel looking like a whole boyfriend, a whole entire boyfriend. Oh my gosh. Should I be zoomed in a little more? She says halfway through the video. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my goodness. We have Minhyun. It's still not in number order. They just did Daniel first. It's different units too. So that's interesting. Oh my goodness. You look so handsome. Freaking Jaehwan with your weird socks. Grandfather socks. That's what those are. I just say that because my grandfather has those socks. So, you know, don't get mad at me if you have those socks. You have the same socks as my grandfather. That's just what I associate them with. And we have Ong sitting next to a plant. Very nice. Guanlin. Oh my gosh, she looks so handsome. Guanlin has improved a lot. I think everyone in 101 has improved a lot over this time. Because honestly, there's no way you can't not improve. Like, you're just constantly promoting and training and, like, preparing music and albums and things. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot that they do training-wise behind the scenes that we just don't see. But, like, everyone from IOI, I feel like once IOI was over, like, they were ready to debut. They were fully 
And you could tell when all of their groups debuted. Pristin, um, Gugudon, Wiki Mickey. Yeah, when all of their groups debuted, they were like, it was really obvious who was the IOI members, even though I knew, but like, you know what I mean? Like they just had so much more stage presence and they just had more variety presence. And honestly, like as much as I dislike, I dislike these elimination programs and I kind of feel like we should, oh my gosh, these are really pretty, move past them. I feel like they're a really, really great way to train your trainees to be in a regular group. So that's just my little little thought on that. And some of these boys obviously were already in groups. Um, so I think that helped a little bit this time as well. It's gonna be really sad. It's gonna be like for IOI, we're all gonna wait for their groups to promote at the same time to have interactions. <laughs> or in the next season of Produce, we'll bring them together. I don't know if there'll be another boy season of Produce. I feel like they really regretted doing this boy season of Produce. Because there was so much drama and so many scandals and just, it was a whole mess the whole time. But if they ever decide to do another boy version of Produce, I'd probably watch it. Produce is really the only elimination program at this point that I will watch. I'm not watching the new YG one. I'm not watching the under 19 one. I just can't, can't do it to myself. But Produce, I'd probably watch another Produce. I don't know if I would be excited about it the second they announce it, but I would watch another Produce. So those are the thanks twos again. I definitely think I liked the adventure version more, but I think both concepts were super, super pretty. That is that. Let's see who I pulled in this. I really want to pull some Jaehwan. I really don't pull him very often. <laughs> so this looks like my sleep. Oh, I got Jin Young. So this is the slip for um, this version of the album, the romance version. So I pulled Bae Jin Young. If you would like to trade for Jaehwan, let me know. These I would really only trade within the U.S. because I'm just afraid to ship them anywhere else. And this is my card. Let's just look at it. Oh, I pulled Ong! Look how freaking handsome! So freaking handsome. You can't see him if I hold him like that. Oh my gosh! I love Ong so much. How could you not love Ong? I don't understand how people, like, could not like him. So. And then we have the lyrics again. Oh gosh. For all the songs. I know I don't have much to say about the songs right now, but when I do film my um, my monthly K-pop haul, probably next week, just because I have so many things that are coming the last week of November that I feel like I need to wait a little bit to film my whole video um, But when I do film it, I will have had plenty of time to listen to this album So I probably will have a lot more to say I got this set of stickers for the romance version Honestly, I wasn't too concerned about which version of stickers I got and I got another golden ticket so that was my unboxing of 101's first full length album and their last comeback as 101 one to the power of 11 equals one power of destiny both the romance and the adventure version i do hope you enjoyed this unboxing like i said before if you would like to trade anything do let me know you can message me on instagram or twitter also if you'd like to see what else i have coming i have lovely's album coming red velvet's album coming um new east w i almost said one one new east w's album coming um and then i have four seasons greetings coming and Super Junior's new Japanese single, and I'm sure there's something else I'm forgetting, but go ahead and look in the description box down below. Um, I write it all down there. Otherwise, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!